this video is about review for factoring. Now let's go to number nine. For number nine, three terms, but always check uh, common factor. We have common factor is n squared. So I will get the five n squared minus 17 n minus 12. Then check over here the three terms. So we're using ninja x for quadratic function. And I have a times c, then here's b over a over a. That's the ninja x pattern. So this part is a, here's b, this is a c. 5 times negative 12, it will be negative 60, negative 17. Then I have over 5, over 5. Now we try to find the factor pairs for negative 60. You can get started from 1, negative 60. Adding, we try to get negative uh, 17. So keep going. 2 is a negative 30. 3, negative 20. Yeah, adding it will be negative 17. That's why 3, negative 20 will be your answer. So I write down 3 and then negative 20. You need to reduce for this side. So you will get uh, negative 4 and 1. Then the variable will be n here. So here's n. Then you can check 5n times 1n, you will get the 5n squared. Then negative 4 times 3 will be negative 12. That means this is a correct answer. So I will write down n squared, bring down. Over here, you will get the 5n plus 3. Then it's n minus 4. That's bottom up. That's your answer for number 9. Now let's go to number 11. So you will get common factor. It will be 2v. I will get the 7v squared plus 6v minus 42. So I will do the ninja x for that. And I have negative 42 times 7. If the number is really big, do not multiply. Just write down like that. Then it's to try to get the pair of factors Adding together, we try to get a positive 6. Here is a 7 and a over 7. So for negative 42, I can write down 6 times 7. So let me write down over here, negative 42 times 7. I can write down like negative 6 times 7, then times 7. For 6, I can write down negative 2 times 3, then times 7 times 7. I can make a factor pair like 21 times negative 14. But adding together is not positive 6. In other words, I cannot find any factor pairs for negative 42 times 7 and uh, make those uh, factor pairs adding together equals positive uh, 6. That means uh, we cannot factor this one. Another way to check is uh, b squared minus 4ac. Using b squared minus 4ac, you will get uh, like a 6 squared minus 4 times 7 times 
negative 42, and uh, it's not a perfect square number. The answer will be 12, 12. It's not a perfect square number. That's why this will be the final answer. You cannot factor that quadratic function. Now let's go to number 13. For the number 13, it's a twisted quadratic function also. So I have a square then square minus a 3a square minus 18. So we do ninja x, negative 18, I have negative 3 over 1 over 1. So negative 18, I can do negative 6 times a 3. Then I have a square, then a square. So your answer will be a square minus 6. And then I have a square and a plus 3. For a square minus 6, it's not those factoring like a square minus b square. For a square minus b square, I can write down that a plus b times a minus b. That means this will be the final answer for number 13. For number 15, still, it will be twisted quadratic function. So I write down x squared then square plus 4x squared minus 5. Then I will do ninja x here. I have negative 5, positive 4. Then it's over 1, over 1. For negative 5, I can do negative 1, positive 5. So it will be x squared. x squared. This one. And you can check x squared times x squared is x to the fourth power. Negative 1 times negative 5 get negative 5. So this is a correct answer. Then do the bottom up. I got the x squared minus 1. Then I have x squared plus 5. Then just check, can you do the those factoring or cubic factoring because you have two terms. Definitely for first one, I can do the those factoring like uh, x plus 1 times x minus 1. Then I have x squared plus 5 bring down. That's the final answer for number 15. For number 17, common factor first. Common factor, it will be 2. Then I have 125 x third power, then plus 64. We know the 4 to the third power is 64. And uh, 5 to the third power is 125. So first of all, I will do the cubic root for these two. And then I will get 5x here, I got 4. So I will do the cubic factoring, get 5x plus 4. Then I have, do the first one square, you will got 25x squared. Then these two multiply. And uh, the sign will be changed. Here is a negative because this is a positive. Here go to negative. Then multiply it will be 20x. Then you do the last uh, term is positive 4 squared is a positive 16. 
Yeah, that's the answer for number 17. Now let's go to number 19. Definitely it will be cubic uh, factoring. So I will do cubic root of uh, x to the power and also cubic root of 125. Then you can get uh, here the x minus 5. So I will do x minus 5. Then you will get the first one, square means x squared. The sign will be changed. So you'll get the plus 5x. Then plus 5 squared is 25. That's for number 19. Now let's go to number 10. We do common factor first. I have 2. Then I got 2r squared plus 7r minus 4. Then do the ninja x, get negative 8. This is a 7, so over 2, over 2. Negative 8, I can do 1, negative 8. Adding, it will be negative 7. So we need to change the sign, it's positive 8, negative 1. So I got negative 1, positive 8. Then you reduce, you get the 4 over 1. Then I will put the r over here. Then check 2r times 1r get the 2r squared. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. That means uh, this is a correct answer. So I do the bottom up, get the 2r minus 1, and then the r plus 4. That's for number 10. Let's go to number 12. For number 12, I cannot make any common factors. So directly go to ninja x. You will get the 5 times the 40. Then here's negative 54. I have over 5 over 5. 5 times 40 will be 200. So for the 200, you can try like uh, 1 definitely wrong, 2 is 100. Then go to 4 is uh, 50. Okay, I need uh, like uh, negative 54, so negative 4, negative 50. Then I write down negative 4, negative 50. Reduce, you will get the negative 10 over 1. Then your variable here is P, this is a P. So check, 5P times 1P is a 5P squared. Then negative 4 times negative 10 get the positive 40. That means uh, this is a correct answer. So I do the 5p minus 4, and then it's like a p minus 10. That's the answer for number 12. Now let's go to number 14. 14, this is a twisted quadratic function. So I can do the x squared, then squared minus 11x squared plus 18. So we do ninja x, here's 18, negative 11, over 1, over 1. It's easy to get negative 2 and then negative 9. But your variable here is x squared, x squared, using this one. So after you check like x squared times x squared is x fourth power, negative 2 times negative 9 is 18. Then I can write down x squared minus 2, then x squared minus 9. For x squared minus 2, you cannot do the those factoring. But for x squared minus 9, yes, you can. So I can do like x squared minus 2, change this one into x 
plus three times the x minus three. Then this is the final answer for number fourteen. For number sixteen, common factor first. So I have take two outside. I got the a to the fourth power plus six a square. Then minus、uh, forty. We know it will be twisted factoring because I can change this one into like a, a square then square plus six a square then minus forty.、Uh, this a square. So I will do the ninja x negative forty. Here is a six. Then over one over one, negative forty. I can do negative four, then positive ten. So I will have a square here and a square here. Therefore, I can do the two. Then it will be a square minus four, a square plus ten. And for those factoring a square minus four, I can write down a plus two. Then it's a minus two. Then multiply by a square plus ten. That's the final answer for number sixteen. Let's go to number eighteen. For number eighteen, yeah, we have the common factor. It will be. Three. So I take three outside, and you will get the two. One, six, plus have one twenty five x third power. You know the six third power equals two sixteen. So definitely, I can do the cubic factoring for these two terms. I will do the cubic root first. I got the six plus five x. So I will write down this is a three, and I have six plus five x. Then you do those when it's a square minus a b. Plus b square. This is a plus b, you know. So I will get the thirty six minus this to multiply is a thirty x. Then plus twenty five x square. That's the answer for number eighteen. Now let's go to last the question. And、uh, this is a cubic factoring, so we do the cubic root. Then you will get the four x. Then this is a one minus one, so it will be four x minus one. Then you can count this is a here is b, so a square will be sixteen x square. Multiply that is、uh, will be plus four x. Then you plus one. That's the answer for number twenty.